Welcome back to Friday Flows. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done uh, flows, but I wanted to follow up with you and show you kind of what's been going on the last few weeks and year to date. So looking at it from an asset class standpoint, uh, equities have been, especially the last week or so, we're 13 billion flowing into ETFs uh, on the equity side. Although as you can see for the year and really for the first few weeks of the year, uh, fixed income really led the way. Um, people taking advantage, of looking at those yields, you know, looking at the yield curve, and you know, opportunity to uh, have some locked-in yields uh, from the bond side of your, your portfolio. Um, again, equities leading the way, as you can see for the year. Alternatives, currencies, negative, but uh, people are really in this last week really kind of gone risk on overall from an equity standpoint. How that actually breaks down uh, year to date. Global equity has actually picked up a, a huge amount of that. Uh, equity in North America is also leading the way, but uh, the global number is is really isn't surprising. Uh, they've been beat up quite a bit. Uh, people have taken advantage of that, it looks like. Um, and as you can see, even within the top 10 here, lots of global, Asian Pacific, Europe equity. Uh, so people looking outside of the US even uh, to, to find that, uh, that return. Over the last week, uh, as you can see, again, moved more into North America, but it's still a lot of big flows for uh, global funds, Europe, Asia. Um, again, kind of makes sense from a standpoint of it's been beaten up so bad. So, you know, there could be some value there moving forward. Looking at to the for the last week and in, in the individual names of what what took in the, the most flows. Um, Again, very equity focused. Uh, Vanguard VTV uh, value fund leading the way at 1.8 billion. That's a big number for this particular fund. Uh, JPI, a big number for JPI. Again, uh, full disclosure, JPI is something I hold within my portfolios. Uh, but it's one that's been kind of a steady eddy uh, from a flow standpoint. But that's a big number uh, on a weekly basis for JPI. On the downside, um, you know, SPY, that kind of always leads the way when people are are, are taking flows away from something. Uh, again, it's just the biggest fund out there in the universe. So it's not surprising when that has a, a bigger number. But on the downside, what was interesting over the last week, it really has shifted where people you know, risk on uh, moving out of treasury, moving out of investment grade into equities. Uh, very, very different from the, the first month of the year. And kind of give you an idea year to date how flows have looked in the individual names. Um, Beta Builders has been a big one for JP Morgan. Um, but as you can see over the, the whole year, some of these treasury numbers that were huge in the first few weeks have even stacked up you know, for year to date numbers. Um, again, JPI in there overall uh, after a huge week last week of, of flows. So uh, jumping into JPI a little bit more, just kind of give you an idea of what the, the flows look like. Very steady every single day. It's not a single negative day of flows um, for the first month of the, or I guess year to date. We're at the third day in November, or February here. So a uh, little bit more over a month, but again, very, very, very steady. Why people are flowing into this, I can tell you um, why most people are probably doing this is just based on the dividend. So if you look at the dividend yields on here, 11.67%, uh, uh, looking into the future projected yield, 9.68. So even as you know, rates maybe not moving as fast uh, up or even stall out here at this point, uh, still a, a projected yield of 9.68. And I can tell you, investors are all about that yield right now. So as people are going through their, their fund selection, I can guarantee you that is one of the reasons why this JPI is popping up. And so, and you really put this yield in comparison to what the S&P 500 is going to do, you know, 2%, under 3% in yield, you're going to triple that, almost quadruple that uh, with this particular fund, um, with also give you some, uh, some little better protection from a, a beta standpoint from the S&P 5, or, yeah, SPY. Uh, only a beta of 5.8. So very low correlation uh, for an equity fund within the, the S&P 500. So you're going to get that, that low correlation. You're going to get a lower volatility. And this number right here is the one that's hard to beat. So 
that's probably the reason why people are flowing the JPI. I know that's one of the advantages I'm taking advantage of my portfolios is that is that uh, that low beta and uh, that high yield. So anyway, so this is a little update on the week. I hope this is helpful and I will be talking to you soon. Have a great week.